Uh, can you share your journey of discovering your child's autism diagnosis and how did that impact your family? Yeah, well, um, I think like a lot of parents, it was a very scary time. You know, there was a lot of mixed emotions, um, especially when noticing um, delayed speech. That was the first thing, kind of the red flag for us. Mm -hmm. um, our son was almost three and he didn't have a lot of language. Um, so that was hard. You know, the like I said, the diagnosis brought a lot of mixed emotions. I was scared, very, very scared. I come from a very traditional um, Mexican family and first generation. So I didn't know what autism was, right? Mm -hmm. um, I'm very blessed to have uh, my husband who kind of guided me through it. You know, he made me he made me know that it was going to be okay. Everything was going to be fine. Um, there was a lot of guilt um, within me, right? I blamed myself because I didn't know what it was. I wasn't informed. There was things where I was like, okay, well, did I do something during my pregnancy? Could I have done something different? Mm -hmm. um, until I educated myself, like I said, my husband guided me a little bit through it because he was familiar with it. Um, but over time, you know, it became a catalyst for growth. Um, it has made us so much better uh, as parents and as a family, as a growth, as a family um, altogether, mm -hmm. excuse me, and because we began to focus on our son's strengths um, and his unique qualities um, and just the way he sees the world, because it's it's different to how, you know, my husband and I have experienced it. Yes. Um, definitely taught us a lot of patience um, and appreciation for all the small, the little victories, all those baby steps, right? Everything is a celebration for us. Everything that our son accomplishes, it's it's a big deal. So although the initial, you know, um, the initial impact was tough, um, it has definitely brought our, fam our family uh, closer together. Yes, for sure. Like you said, patience. You got to have patience because my two little ones, I mean, oh, I'm like, God is really helping me in that area. You know, when they talk about the patience of Job, I'm like, okay. Um, Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What are some of the biggest challenges you faced in the early years of parenting a child with autism? I think the biggest thing was really understanding the diagnosis. Mm. Uh, like I said, um, I didn't know what it was, right? There was a lot of uncertainty, a lot of confusion of what it meant and what it meant for our son. Mm. Um, understanding unique characteristics, right? Because autism is not a one size fits all. It's a spectrum. Every child on the spectrum looks different, behaves different. Um, so understanding what those characteristics were for, mm -hmm. for my son. Um, and then I think just the communication barriers that was, like I mentioned earlier, it was the, the red flag, right? Our son was speech delayed, almost three. Um, he had a difficult time communicating. Um, he used to point and grunt. And as a first time parent, right, he pointed, I ran. It's like, oh, that's what my baby wants, right? Mm -hmm. um, so understanding um, how he communicated um, and, you know, just being able to guide him into using that, that functional communication because we did have um, behaviors um, when he started school. We call them maladaptive behaviors, right? Which is his aggression. He had aggression because he couldn't functionally communicate his wants and needs. So I think those were definitely the biggest challenges um, uh, at the beginning, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, because my four-year-old, he has a lot of aggression and his speech is coming along slowly. Oh, yeah. To, yeah, say, you know, he's starting to count. He can count. And uh, he likes the 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 little uh, songs, you know, all the different oh. songs and stuff. So he's starting to pick up on those things and knowing his ABCs. And like you said, being patient, uh, I think that's the biggest thing, because normally you just thinking like, OK, maybe he, he you know, maybe he should be talking by now, mm -hmm. you know our timeline, not, not yeah. God's timeline. Right. Right. Those expectations um, that sometimes we set for our children um, mm -hmm. without, like I said, without really understanding, you know, especially with the diagnosis, if every child is different, like you said, your son is, is counting now. Right. Um, and some kiddos take on to the music, right. That's what gets them started. Um, every kid has something different. So yeah, it's, 
it's removing our expectations um, and being patient with them. Yes, yes. Earlier, you talked about having like mom guilt. How, how did you, how did you process that? And then, like, how did you overcome that? Like, um, yeah. How did you get over it? Because I believe a lot of moms deal with that. Like, was it something I did wrong? You know, how did you? How did um, you do that? That's a great question. Um, like I said, I I was not familiar with what autism was. Um, mental health is not something that was spoken uh, about in my family. You know, it's like, no, that doesn't exist. So um, I blamed myself initially. I I thought my son was premature. So he was born at seven months. Um, so all of these factors started to come in, right? I was still in the military active duty. So it's like, was I doing too much? Was I not being careful enough? Um, even though, you know, my chain of command in the military was amazing and always took care of me. Um, but it was, okay, what did I do wrong? Was I not taking um, my prenatals? Was I not doing mm -hmm. enough while pregnant? Um, I lost a lot of weight during pregnancy. Um, so that, right. Um, also prior to my son, I had a miscarriage. So thinking, okay, am I, was I not healthy enough? Mm -hmm. Um, for my son, right? Um, so I I beat myself up about it a lot. Um, and then, like I mentioned earlier, I had my husband who was very supportive, you know, and kind of um, reassured me that it wasn't my fault, right? It was not something that I could have prevented during my pregnancy. Um, and honestly, just diving into ABA, um, understanding the diagnosis, that's kind of what helped me overcome that. Um, I became almost obsessive with it, right, of understanding what it was, what can I do, how can I help my child, how can I advocate for him. Um, and I'm not going to lie to you, and I'm not going to lie to parents, you know, there's times where I still feel bad. We just had a situation um, a couple weeks ago when school started, where I came to my husband in tears, right, I'm like, I've tried everything. What more? He's like, you've tried everything. It's not your fault. You know, it. some things are not going to work based on the plan, right? Again, those right. expectations. Mm -hmm. um, so I think just diving into what the diagnosis was, having the support um, of my husband was was incredibly helpful to, mm -hmm. to help me with that guilt. Yeah. For sure. Shout out to your husband for, for <laughs> you know, being patient. So was he familiar with, did he have any kind of background in, in you know, like maybe like ABA therapy or did he ever have that kind of exposure before you were married? Because it seems like he was pretty grounded with, with the situation, you know. Yeah. So um, my we met in the military, so he was in the army um, when I was, um, but he was a little bit more familiar with like ADHD, um, just mental health um, in general because of his family. Um, and, you know, um, his uh, aunt, who's also his godmother, um, worked for our in Inland Regional Center out in the Inland Empire. So he was familiar with it, just being around them also um, and just having her um, as, you know, someone to touch bases with on what, what those things were, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So ha have your perspective on autism and parenting evolved over time? Like, where were you at once you found out uh, the diagnosis and where you are today? Like, what was that evolution like for you? Yeah, I think at the beginning, um, it was, like I said, just seeing the challenges, right? It was primarily looking through a lens of challenges. What is my child going to experience? Um, how is he going to be treated? Right. I think that's a big thing. Um, but I think I've realized that with parenting a, a child um, on the spectrum, it's not about trying to change them. And this is something that I always share with my parents that I do parent education with. It's not about trying to change them to fit those society norms. Um, it's celebrating their individuality, um, advocating for their needs, their rights, um, you know, fostering a, an environment that values their, their needs, especially their communication styles, their interests, their expressions. Um, 
I know we keep saying this, right? But understanding the importance of patience, that is so, so, so important. So um, my, I think that's how my parenting style has yeah. evolved because yeah. I do also have another son, right? Who's um, neurotypical. He doesn't have a diagnosis. So parenting them is very different. Um, but patience um, has, I think, definitely been the biggest one. Um, I think for both of us, you know, both my husband and I, because again, we come from the military, right? Where everything's like, go, 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 go. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. You're doing what you're being told, being where you're supposed to. There's nothing else, right? So that's what we were used to. And then here comes our son where it's like, okay, everything has to slow down. You have to be patient. I'm not moving as fast as you guys are. So definitely, like I said, just understanding that I, we are not going to make them make, make him excuse me fit in it's more of a accepting and celebrating him yeah. how he is how he how he was sent to us right I know you mentioned God earlier which um we are big on uh, yeah. so I, I always tell my husband God sent me Jeremiah the way he sent to me for a reason mm -hmm. and I, I truly believe that so yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. My yeah, my oldest son uh, name is is Jeremiah. So yeah, yeah, <laughs> awesome, great choice. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> For sure. <laughs> yeah, and, and and I like that you say about celebrating, you know, just who they are because, you know, culturally, like you said, we see life one way, but mm -hmm. the way they see it is is different. And to make that transition, to think outside of yourself. It does. It, it takes a lot of patience and, and grace, you know. What self-care strategies have been most effective for you as a parent of a child with ASD? Um, for me, really, it's just regular physical activity. I That is my self-care. Um, I go out there. I stay active as much as I can. Um, I go to the gym. Um, I run. I run half marathons, working on that full marathon, hopefully by next year. Um, but that's that's what um, helped me uh, take care of me, just being active. So, mm -hmm. yeah, how do you how do you prepare? Because I guess I'm not the greatest at running and, and trying to make sure <laughs> that yeah. I keep my stamina up. I'm working on it. But is that something that you just fell in love with? Or yeah. you kind of trained yourself into like running? Yeah, so I I really started running when I was in the military, right? That's big um, for us in our physical training. Mm -hmm. um, running, it was not my favorite back then because <laughs> I had to do it, right? Uh, but I would do it outside of work. Um I started, I think, back in 20, 2011, um, mm -hmm. a little bit after our son was born. Um, and it's, I would start running, stop, start running. Um, and then I picked it up again um, more consistently. And it's just, I follow up. I have to have a plan. I'm that type of person that has <laughs> a plan for, <laughs> for myself. So I just, um, I do a running plan and um, work myself up to to those events. And I and that's my goal. It's always having, you know, I have a race this date. I'm preparing for this. And that's how I get myself there. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it. So how do you and your spouse find time to connect with having children? Because I know a lot of people ask this question, especially the married couples. How do you find time to connect? Yeah, um, well, both my husband and I have very demanding jobs, right? We're very busy. Um, so we try.